Well, hello, hello, everybody. Monty here. Monty Plays Games, playing some RimWorld. Uh, this was one of those that I was wanting to play back in 2018 as w it hit uh, 1.0. It's officially released. And uh, Ludian Studios made this one. Really cool game. Uh, one of the few that I've actually did a little Kickstarter uh, on and backed. Uh, but we're going to be doing a new... Totally new series here. I did do some way pre-alpha videos, like four or five videos, no no big deal. Um, but I want to really get into this series here, play it through. I mean, there's a whole thing of like getting to a rescue ship and all that. So we're going to go ahead and hit New Colony. It's something I'm really excited to be bringing you guys is there's mods now for multiplayer. I hope they make some official multiplayer for this game. Uh, but if you played any other multi official multiplayers like Prison Architect, very similar. You're just co op controlling, uh, at least with the multiplayer mod I'm doing. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to be bringing you the single-player series. I'm going to be playing The Wild Adventures of Monty. This is actually an old scenario I made. One person, just me. You awaken your Volkswagen to the sound of Yanni and ripping metal, because that's a thing. Um, I don't know. You get a sniper rifle, some random things, a bunch of beer, uh, an alpha beaver, because that's you got to have that, and then 420 steel and wood, and an advanced helmet. And the map is scattered with a steel... And ship chunks. So, there's stuff to do here. One person, though. It's going to be an interesting start. I want to do some multiplayer, though. But that'll be, like, live streaming. And uh, got to talk to some folks. And we'll see about doing that. Like, maybe on a, you know, every other week or weekly basis or something like that on the Twitch channel of Monty Plays Games. But let's get right into it now. Wild Adventures of Monty. I have no idea if this is going to work with just one person. Um, but I want to do Builder. And I want to do Classic Cassandra. Uh, this is like a uh, slowly um, pushing you. The game gets harder as you grow and such like that. Where um, Phoebe's like chillax. A little bit easier to start, uh, but it still ends up just as hard as it does. And then random Randy. Whew, that's just craziness. One day you're going to have like 15 terriers join your tribe or something like that. And then the next day 15 pirates come and just kill everything. So classic builder. Still, you know... Have never done any of the late game stuff. Uh, we're going to go reload anytime. I'm going to be self-enforcing uh, commitment mode uh, because I do have some mods, uh, which I do have a collection. So if you want to know that, I'll put the, the link down in the uh, section below. I'm going to go with Monty Plays Games as the C just to see how that does. Uh, global coverage, I definitely want to do 50%. Um, overall rainfall, normal, normal temperatures. Um, but yeah, I have a collection of the mods. Nothing crazy. Uh, more just like some visual things and such as that. Generate. I'll probably be using the same mods um, in the multiplayer game as well. But really glad to have you guys along. I've been really excited to play this RimWorld game. I've been playing it on my own uh, off and on the last few months. But it's time to press that record button and bring some to you guys on the channel. I think I even hyped it in the trailer of the what's coming to you in 2018, because I knew 1.0 was coming out. Wow, yeah. So, if you don't know, you you, you land here. We're going to crash land somewhere. I'm picking where. Um, I could do select a random site, which is probably what I'll do. Um, but this is the world. These are all different factions. Uh, different, different little... Uh, colonies and places like that we can visit, we can trade. Uh, we're going to have to be building our own. It's Marie's fault. See, it's Marie's fault. Uh, calm Orange, the Brio Jungle. Um, but let's go... No, I don't want to go too random. I kind of want to pick somewhere. So if you zoom in, you can see that there's actually roads. Um, we could pick somewhere on a road, but there will be some more travel. I don't have the mod where you can build roads, but there's even a mod for that. Um, also, where you are is going to depend on the average temperature. Like 35, and I, sorry, I Fahrenheit. It's just going to happen. Uh, but almost freezing to a nice, comfortable 79 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so you could kind of plan like, but then if I go tropical rainforest, I could grow here probably year-round. So the difficulty is also based on, on that. So I know there's a lot to talk about. Dead baboon woodland. That doesn't sound cool. How about... How about the calm or uh, the calm orange? That sounds interesting. Um, I kind of want some more of like standard temperatures though. Temperate forest, 
like fr pretty much almost freezing to 80. It sounds like the nice Pacific Northwest. I can dig that. Maybe something like right here. We've got a big river. Um, the terrain. This is important, seeing the stone type as well. That's a huge river. I don't think I've ever been on a huge river. This one's interesting. It's got the granite, sandstone, and limestone. It's got a creek. Uh, I do have the mod. I want to do a large... I want to do this spot. Kind of at the end of the road. Let's go. Um, oh, yeah, and then we get to pick our one person. Um... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I do have the mod that makes it so deep water they can't cross. Um, so we could pick somebody. Since we are only going to have one person, I was hoping it was set up to where it's like, it's for sure uh, Monty is the character. Um, but as you can see, there's... there's uh, Look at that. He's got a hangover. That sounds about right. Or she does. Um... You know, we don't want to have someone who, like, is incapable of something that we really need. Because we do... We're starting with one person. Now, since I was a Kickstarter, I can tell you that I do have a... Uh, if I randomized enough, I do have a character in the game. Uh, undergrounder. Undergrounder, huh? No need to experience the outdoors or light. Wow. Everyone's going to have that hangover. Incapable of caring. That's pretty funny. Um, all kinds of stuff here, but no medical. But you can't really treat yourself anyway. Problem is, is she's a jealous psychopath. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is kind of click through here. I'm going to find somebody, and as soon as I do... Uh, usually I like doing random if you start with the three characters. But uh, I want to pick something kind of uh, okay. And uh, get it named up, and I'll bring you right back. All right. I only went like four or five in. I don't think this is going to go very well, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Here we have it. Monte Rico, the male who's 26 years old, was a herder in childhood, lore keeper in adulthood, steadfast in night owl. I like that. What's steadfast actually give me a mental break threshold of negative nine? Eh, that's, that's pretty fair. Uh, I tend to want to be a medical... Uh, uh, person, which is, eh, that's, that, that's my passion, but we'll see, I guess. Cooking is going to really hurt us, especially plants and construction. All these being zeros uh, is no good, but, you know, that's how, that's how it rolls, right? And we have a pounding hangover. But some basics everywhere, so your skills will improve as you use them. So let's just start, let's just wing it, see how this goes, generate the map. But it's good times. Been playing with Durin D. Hopefully we'll get some uh, multiplayer going on. Shout out to you, dude. Been having a bunch of fun playing some RimWorld and even Stardew Valley. <laughs> Maybe stream a little bit of that. Okay, the the three of you... No, sorry, just the one of us. Uh, we awake in crypto sleep, and um, sometime later you land on this unknown RimWorld. That's just the standard starty start. Boom, there's our little pod. See, there's some steel... There's some wood and stuff. There's what looks like the advanced helmet. So we're going to go ahead and um, allow all the stuffs, like the gun, equip the sniper rifle. Uh, we've got all this here. We're going to allow this. And then I'm going to just throw down a pause just so we can see here. We have Attila the Alpha Beaver. I love this right here. And um, see some things that we have going on here. Uh, some of the mods, actually, I just realized I'm going to have to um, enable a bunch of the mods. Because um, I don't see those going right now. But we're going to go ahead and set some training here. And then just kind of zoom out and look at what we have. Here's that massive river that it was going on about. Ship chunk right in the middle of it. Which we can't get... We'd have to bridge out there. Because we can't go out in deep water. Which actually, I guess I could now. Because the mod's not uh, going... Uh, we're going to have compacted steel. That's nice. We could just dig in and build inward. Um, we have this nice little thing right here uh, that we could build onto. Maybe defend out this way. What I'd also want to look for is some rich soil, which is this whole thing right here. And um, 
I also like the steam geyser here. So, Monty, what we're going to do is uh, we need beds. So basically, bottom left, we'll start going over things as we play it out. But we have our orders. We have our zoning uh, structures. I'm going to go ahead and say, build me a door. And we're just going to go uh, wood. Actually, we're going to go uh, steel because we have it already. Um, and then what is this? Limestone wall? That's marble wall. That's fine. And uh, furniture. We're going to get a uh, sleeping spot for now. But I want to try to build... Uh, not the... Look at that. There's a double sleeping spot. I never noticed that. Double bed roll. Animal bed. Look at that. Wow, we really just don't have that much. It's probably under research. Um, once we get a research bench, we're going to have to get some more production going. We do have tree sewing. Pemmican, passive cooler, electricity, and recurve bow. Interesting stuff to start with. Complex clothing would be nice. Stone cutting is going to be a must. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Production. Here's all these things. We're going to need, like, a fueled stove. Uh, that I'm just going to throw right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Hopefully, Monty's going to just get to work. So he's going to grab the steel. And he's going to head on over. We're going to have to get all of this put away. we got some medicine. we got a bunch of beer. Uh, we're going to have to get it built in somewhere. So what I'm going to do up here is we're going to go with steel wall because we have plenty of steel. Uh, I'm just going to close this off. And I'm going to close that off. And we'll close that off as well. So that's going to be good. They're going to get all this going like that. It's compacted machinery. I can mine. But I don't want to give Monty too much stuff to do. I mean, we have the steel. No need to be mining yet. But I love it. You will start seeing how they have. I have a bond with Attila. Got a little raccoon here already going to maybe try to give us some trouble. Hey, raccoon. That's, that's my room, buddy. That's my room. We could hunt the thing. We could even tame it. Uh, but if we look over Monty's bio, that's gonna... Oh, his animals is okay. So taming, training, and controlling animals. That's nice. So the problem is, is all the stuff's over here for now. That's alright. Some alpacas. That'd be great to tame some of these guys. Oh, there's the wood. There's more steel. Just allowing it. It's got a little X on it, which you can disallow things and allow. But early on, it's pretty uh, basic, simple stuff. You can speed it on up. Once we get the basics built down, I failed at constructing the uh, fueled stove. Some resources have been wasted. That's no good. But we'll get our skills up. And Beaver's getting some food. Survival first. We need a bed. And we need food. Watching all the construction, which is, you know, fair enough. We're not going to build a copy of the door right there. We're not very good at these things. And we're just hanging out, having a meal, drinking a beer, doing what we do. I like it. I like it. What we're going to eventually do is I'm going to build a zone stockpile. Let's just do that right here. going to basically have everything. Eventually, I'll start hauling everything. Unfortunately, I don't believe the beaver can haul. Nope. They're just not to that level. But I'm building the roof. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I'm going to add some bills. Bills are how you actually make sure you're cooking the stuff. Cook simple meals. I'm going to say do until we have 10. 
But I'm actually just going to say do until we have five. Three, because it's just me. Just one person. So we're going to hit the sleeping spot. I'm still quite interested that we don't have... <clears throat> excuse me. We don't have the ability... To build a bed. The bed roll... A little bit better. Animal sleeping box. Should be nice and throw one of these down. And let's see. I do want to get... Let's see. Let's throw a table outside. Something nice. Something like here. With a stool. And uh, we're going to switch back to the wooden wall. Let's do a little something like this. Wooden door. A little something like that. Get a little dining room set up. Keep Monty busy. So I like it. I, again, it's going to be really slow going because we just have uh, one person to start. Three people to start is a little slow going. But I thought, hey, let's go hardcore. This is the single player with Monty. And uh, we're going to get it started that way. We're not going to stay single player the whole time, of course. As soon as we get uh, more people in, hopefully we'll get uh, some more people joining our colony here. Let's see, doors are built. Roof doesn't cost any materials, I don't believe. Let's see, this will be good. I already moved one thing of steel over here. But now we can hang out here, relaxing socially. You can even assign, like, a... We can change their sleeping structure when they sleep, when they're awake. Uh, we can force, like, recreation at the end of the night. It's pretty cool. Uh, so some pretty cool stuff. You can force them to do some things. I can say, uh, like, prioritize hauling. And he'll bring a bunch of those over here. That'll stop him from uh, having to run so far just to grab a meal. See, now he's going to have a little bite to eat at the table. They definitely enjoy that. If you look at needs, you know, slept on the ground, slept in the cold, unsightly environment, minor pain. Uh, how is that? Oh, no, over the hangover. That's pretty nice. Chunks of spacecraft impacted nearby. Ooh, look at that. Pretty cool stuff. But we're going to slow it back down. I know we need some defenses. We have a turkey to hunt. We could tame some turkeys, but again, I don't want to waste my time doing things I don't really need to be doing right now. First thing I'm going to have Monty do when he wakes up, though, is prioritize. How are your needs, buddy? You really that tired? Your rest is all the way almost up. So it's like living on the rim meets the Sims, uh, you know, but we're going to actually be... Uh, Having to defend our base. Obviously, I have a sniper rifle on me. Let's say prioritize hauling more of the food. Actually, beer. We'll be back for prioritizing some beer. Just because it seems like Mane likes to have a little breakfast and a beer. A brew and a pancake. Calling beer. Now we're gonna be good. Every once in a while I'll deal with this. How you doing, Attila? Wandering? Training? You gonna go hunt something? Nope. Consuming a tree. That beaver just ate that tree. Well, good thing we know how to plant trees. Alright, sleeping spot down. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and start building out here. And what I think I'm going to do here is a simple research bench in the back. It has a work speed penalty because it's outdoors, but that'll be fixed once we get the walls up. We've got to watch out. We do have a bear here. Um, if I hit wildlife, you can see all the animals. You can see if they're a predator such as the grizzly bear. We have a warg. Oh my goodness, we have a warg. 
Uh, we also have the links. So, things to be careful about. Game over right away. Monty gets killed by a grizzly bear in episode one. I could see these things happening. Construction botched. However, let's take a look at Monty's bio now. Construction is up at one point. You can see the progress to next level. So that's pretty cool. Cooking, haven't done any of that yet. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to build a copy because we want a little places to sit while they work. Full speed ahead. We have a visitor. All right. Hold on. Let's slow things down. We have Artie here. He's got a pistol. He's a... Uh, or he's a she. He's a, She's a councilman from Fenheimlium. Uh, no relationships. Pretty good at everything. Intellectual as well. Incapable of artistic, though. Nimble, fast learner. What's sanguine? Artie is naturally upbeat about her situation pretty much all the time. No matter what it is. Wow. Won't you join us? Won't you join us? Can we, uh, can we say hi? You know what we're going to do. Let's build Game of Herbord. Nice. I unlocked this one in the last game, and now we have... Ooh, Hoopstone Ring. Got some Hoopstone Ring. How's that sound, Artie? Yeah, let's finish that later. Whoa. Really? we got to go get the wood from all the way over there? Thank you for getting all of it. I want... There we go. Look. Getting our game on. Artie, you want to join us? You just chill wandering around with your pistol out. I mean, Artie computer. Really. Your adulthood, you are a human computer. Interesting. Story writer turned computer. Your lack of artistic. And your name is Artie. That's what's, that's the most ironic thing is like, your, your parents, all they wanted you to do was grow up and be a wonderful artist. And you're like, no, that's the one thing I'm never going to do. Call me Artie. All you want. I hate the arts. I hate them. Um, I'm like, is Attila in the bed? So that's almost a thing. Monty's having his nighttime meal and crashing hard. Research. Really. Can't make a bed. I better get some beer brewing. Hmm. Stone cutting. Hmm. We're going to need stone cutting first, actually. Problem is, is when Monty goes and starts researching, like, that's all he's going to do. There we go. Now research is going to get a little bit better. Go eat your lunch. Or a little brunch, maybe. Then he's got to go finish picking up some stuff. I need to realize he's not going to finish that bench now because I need to order... Some chopping of wood. All of that wood, right by storage facility. Inspired surgery. No, Monty, you don't need to be given surgeries to people. Attila does not need a bionic eye, no matter how much you want that. Oh, 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 okay. We have a mad hare. He's running across the water. I'm going to have to get set up here. Go ahead, Monty. If you hit the R key, you can take control of them. See right here, R, toggle military draft. What I'm going to do here, I wish I could release the Attila, but we don't have the uh, training yet. I'm going to stand here, and we're going to get some shots off on this hair with our sniper rifle. Oh, come on now, Monty. I know your shot is horrible. 
And, uh, but this is no good. It's going hand to hand right now with the rabbit of madness. And the rabbit is down. Um, cool. So, Monty, undo your military needs. And that was very dangerous because, uh, Attila was not defending. Attila was just eating trees. We're going to allow the rabbit. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get Monty to, uh, cannot cook simple uh, meal. Need materials. Mm, do we have, let's see, orders. Need a harvest. Harvest. Ah, here we go. Look at this. Nice little chunk of berries right there. As soon as Monty finishes that tree. I'm gonna have him come get these berries. I'm not worried about starving because uh, we have some survival meals. Oh, that warg is right around the corner. The warg is there and it's gonna end me. Uh oh, I gotta go. I gotta. I can't hang out by the warg. Attila, no, don't eat the tree that I was just cutting. Oh, I worked so hard to cut that tree down, Attila. Go home. I was just going to say what I should do is restrict uh, the animal to the uh, the home area. What are the materials needed for that simple meal? Mm, okay, no human meat. That's a good thing to not eat. Insect meat? Really? All right, fine. Eggs, don't eat the fertilized stuff, and don't eat the insect jelly. So you can really customize what the people eat, what they don't eat. Hey, I trained Attila to release. I can now send out the the beaver. Nice. Beaver on the hunt. I have a feeling that music sounds a little bit loud. I'll, I'll probably get all that stuff tuned up next time. For me, it's not that bad, but I'm looking over at the audio and seeing the, the levels in the recording. So hopefully it'll all work out. Again, episode ones, they are what they are. This is more just me excited to be getting kind of back into RimWorld, see how it goes. I'm really worried about surviving here as Monty with no abilities whatsoever. Let's be honest. Attila, you eat this tree. I'm going to... Cannot cook simple meal. It took me a long time to get that tree. Get all these berries, and then I want to prioritize. Oh, I cooked a meal! I cooked a meal! We're gonna prioritize hauling all this stuff. Oops, Monty. Haul the medicine, and the knife. Cool. If you hold shift, you can... Uh, what I did was I held shift as I clicked uh, prioritize that, that, and that. So it cues them all up. Those warthogs are probably eating all my meals. They need to get up off my beer. Oh, that guy's... uh. Spoils in 19 hours. Ah, we don't have any refrigeration, but I wish I would have caught that. Must have been the grizzly. See, that if... We are not in a safe spot. What's Monty doing? Going for a walk. Fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and order some more... Chopping of the wood. Because Attila keeps eating all of it. Oh, I gotta get rid of the learner helper. It's one of these. Uh, there it is. Boom. Alright. So we have research. We have food. Uh, production. There's other things we're gonna need. We're gonna need a butcher table. That was a thing. I forgot about that. Let's just put that right out there. Um, sculpture table, smelter, none of those things we need. 
furniture. We could put a uh, some torches out. Maybe a plant spot in the room. Um, man, really, not a lot we can build. I'm going to need to get Monty working on that. Oh, look at that. All that steel right there. Allow it all. There's probably a lot more wood. We just haven't done a good... Ooh, Mega Sloth. There's a bunch of stuff right up here. Bunch of steel. I'm not going to allow that yet because it's just so far away. Boom Rats. Those are fun. You'll know when you know. All right, double click on Mana here. Get back into town. Cutting these trees, that's pretty good. Attila, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new zone. Whoa, whoa, Attila's gonna die, Attila's gonna die, Attila's gonna die. Is the grizzly bear. No. Uh, no. Let's just, let's go for this right here, right now. Fire at Grizzly. This is where it all goes bad. Health. Gunshot to the jaw. What? Talk now, huh? Huh? Eat my s alpha beaver? Eat my alpha beaver? Oh, and now I'm being raided. Really, they're attacking immediately. Um, hold on. Hold on. Run up here. Now run right here. If I could get Lima stuck kind of fighting the... What is he doing? Lima. He's attacking my torch. Like, if I could get Lima, who's only got a knife, to get in a fight with the bear, that would be good. But I dropped him. But what I need to do now is deal... Ah, no, 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 no. Deal with finishing off the bear. Oh, terrible shot. It's going to come after me, though. That's the problem. Oh, no. No immediate danger. I need it to start, like, bleeding out, and then I can run away from it for, like, eight hours. Lima, I could try to save. And then capture? That's a thing. Creepy breathing. Do we really want a creepy breather? This is a sniper rifle, so I have what, what we should be having here. Oh, man, Attila had been torn to death. I should have started fighting the bear a little bit faster. Told you this grizzly was going to be no good. Death in 19 hours. So, I'm good. Actually, strip him before he dies. Because... Our people don't like dead clothes. Um, I'm going to allow the knife. And is he just going to die? He's going to die in 14 hours. You know what? You attack me. I have better things to do than help in your death. Same with this guy. They can both bleed out over the next day. <laughs> Here I am fixing this. No, I'm going to... No, you know what? Whatever. They're fine. They want to attack me. That's how it is. Lima and the bear. Done for life. But you know what, folks? I think we survived our first raid. Our first bear attack. We're down an alpha beaver. We're just down to Monty. Will we survive? I don't think so. But uh, it's going to be an entertaining ride nonetheless. Uh, we are self-committing ourselves to this series and... Uh, We'll see how it goes. 
Uh, I'm going to call it here for episode one. I hope you guys did get some uh, entertainment out of it and uh, let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. Again, I think what's going to be really fun is getting some streaming going with the multiplayer. I mean, I'm telling you guys, some of the things that happen in RimWorld are just outrageous. Uh, so, again, thanks for joining today. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, take care, everybody. Peace.